What line? What did line? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Okay. Action. What is line? Xavier Dolan one month ago said in Rome that he became a director because he wanted to be cast as an actor. Uh, you are starting together a production company, Ramona Films, so you did the same thing, uh, you did um, this to do the same thing, to be cast as an actor, or no? No. Uh, <laughs> no, we, we did not start this company just to uh, hire, our, <laughs> hire each other in every project we're making. There are certain projects that we will act in or direct, but that was never the intention of the company. We, uh, we are fans of so many writers and directors and actors out there, and we are just excited about working with all of those people and just um, being in a position where we can just support them and support their vision. And so uh, we can't talk, I don't think, in specifics about projects we have coming up, but there's one, I think probably our first one after Disaster Artist is one where we will strictly produce and uh, we're very excited about this director that we're working with. Uh, the movie remembered me um, uh, Ed Wood's uh, scene, Tim Burton movie, in which we see um, yeah. Ed Wood and Orson Welles having a conversation and we discovered mm -hmm. that uh, the worst and the best director of the time <laughs> have the same issues, they have the yes, same dreams, yes, the same yes, fears. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what makes us uh, Ed Wood or Orson mm -hmm. Welles? The, the line is a fine line. Ooh. Yes, it's <laughs> a good question. Very good question. Um, and in fact, The Room has been called the Citizen Kane of bad movies. Uh, and Tommy has been called the Orson Welles of you know bad directors. Mm -hmm. uh, It's a very good question. What is the difference? <laughs> I mean, you can say um, that Tommy Wiseau and Ed Wood and Orson Welles all had the same amount of passion. Mm -hmm. They were all swinging for the fences, you know. Um, they were all trying their hardest to make great movies. Um, I guess by conventional standards, Orson Welles the only one who succeeded. Um, uh, On the other hand, you know, um, when when Citizen Kane, Kane Kane came out, it also was not a huge box blockbuster box office success. You know, um, uh, just like The Room. Do you know uh, how long it took to gain the status of being the best movie ever? I'm not <laughs> quite sure. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but um, it's all sort of. Um, It also becomes a question of like what we get out of the movies, you know. They're like our our standards of success, kind of can shift. You know, there are different kinds of success, and in the sense of, you know, audiences uh, or the uh, fervent level of you know uh, fandom that you know things have. Like, I I I doubt there are you know sold out theaters whenever, you know, Citizen Kane is playing, you know, where people are like losing their mind and having as much fun as the audiences Probably of the cool. room are, you know, having. So there's, you know, yeah. different criteria. My, yeah, my two best movie going experiences are Jurassic Park and The Room. And yeah. so <laughs> yeah. something, something to be said about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Action! I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Ah!